Hello, I'm David Delacroix and here we are making the follow-up of a previous video that we recorded three months ago about forecasting the outcome of the presidential elections in the US. So last time I introduced uh, a tool I liked to do this forecast, which is called Polyvote, which uh, we, we can see here on the screen, which has the, the merit of combining different ways to forecast elections, combining polls, expectations by people, expectations by betting markets, expert surveys and model predictions. And so combining these different source of information normally leads to something very robust to forecast. So now let's see what, what, what's the current situation of the polyvote forecast for the Biden versus Trump uh, competition. Um, so I just show here the um, how things evolved over time. So you have time here. Uh, look at the vertical axis, the, the forecast for Trump in red and Biden in blue. They are, they've always been between 49 and 50 percent and it's very flat. So compared to three months ago, in fact, nothing happened essentially. So Biden is, st is still at 50.3, 50.4, 50.2 percent of the two-party vote. So that's how the votes will be allocated between Republicans and Democrats. So as I said last time, for, for Biden, that's not enough to win because uh, the way the elections, the, the way the votes are allocated, it's not just proportional, but it goes through an allocation to states which themselves send um, electors uh, to, to, to vote for the president. And so Biden with 50.4, I believe is well below the needed uh, to win. Uh, remember Hillary Clinton lost, uh, it was in 2016, I believe so eight years ago with 51%. So if Biden wants to win, he really needs, I think, 51%. So to summarize polyvote, nothing happened in the last three months. Uh, and Biden is still uh, short of uh, votes to win the election. Now I can show you another way to think about the, the problem. It's to look at the different states. And so for that, there is a website called uh, 270 to win. Uh, why 270? Because you need 270 votes by states to, to win the election. And each state has a number of votes depending on its population. With a, with, with a minimum threshold. And so here is, is a map of the, the states in the US. And uh, so blue is Democrat, red is Republican. And you see most of the states, we already know what, 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 what they will vote. Um, so surprises could only come from the, 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 um, the states here in a very light colors. Uh, which are six states. They are called the swing states because they can go from one uh, camp to the other quite easily. The rest is true. California will never, never vote Republican. So, so uh, now if you make the total, the, the total for sure for the Democrats, it's 226. So it's short of reaching the 270. And so to win, Biden needs to win Wisconsin here. I put it in blue. Michigan and Pennsylvania, three countries in the northern part of the country. With those three, just those three, he has 270. That's just enough to be elected. So what he needs to do is really to, to defend those states which are classically more democratic, but it's not granted. It's not granted because, for example, eight years ago, again, uh, if we look at Hillary Clinton, I have the map of Hillary here. So you see Hillary lost um, the three states to Trump at that time and so lost the general election. So on both, on both counts, uh, I would say that um, for the moment, uh, it's really not obvious that Biden can, can make it.